My name is Adam Novak, and we'll now be talking about assigning variables in Python. In Python, you can store values inside a memory location called a variable. By doing this, you can access again the value later simply by typing in the variable name. These values can be changed and they are assigned using an equals operator. On the left here, we are first looking at the value of 6 being assigned to the variable num using an equals operator. We can access the value 6 again later by calling the variable num, printing back 6 to the console. On the right here, we are assigning the string hello world to the variable we have called intro. We can again access the string again later by typing an intro to the console. Down the bottom here, we have examples of multiple assignments such that we have x, y and z equal to 0, 4 and does not exist. By separating the variables and the values by a comma, we can assign x to the value of 0, y to the value of 4 and z to the string of dne all in one line, such that when we print back x, y and z to the console, we get 0, 4 and dne. This is also an example of multiple assignment on the right here, such that we have the variables win and lose applied to the strings yay and sorry. Here at the top we first have examples of the runtime stack. Simply we put the variable word equal to the string hello first, then we reassign it to the string world such that when we access what's inside the variable word, we get the most recently assigned value being the string world. On the right here we first assign the variable num to 1, then we reassign it to the value of 7, printing back num to the console will give us 7. Down the bottom here just common examples of some errors you may occur. The first one simply being you cannot put spaces before a variable name, this will produce an error. You also cannot put numbers before a variable name, this will also produce an error, though after or during the number is fine. Using illegal characters such as a forward slash will also produce an error. Also we must be careful not to use reserved words such as the int, string or list functions. And now for some examples we can make x equal to 2 using the equals operator such that when we print back x we now get the value stored inside of it being 2. We can make x equal to 4 so now when we reprint x we get the value of 4. Now we can operate on it such that we get x plus 2 being 6, x plus 4 being 8 and x plus 10 being 14. You can see in all these cases that x still has its original value of 4 inside of it. This is simply because we have not reassigned it using an equals operator, such that x is now equal to 10.